in order to figure out, so there's a question about figure out how, how many people are infected, for example. If you go to this child population, you go to statistics, you can add a statistic, and for each child, we would figure out whether it's infective by asking the infection state chart. By asking the state chart, is it infective, right? Um, and so to do that, we can go back to Maine, to this, to this population, click on this child population, go to statistics, and we need to give it a criteria. This is a count of items in that population that match some criteria. It's giving us a hint here. We can use item to refer to the particular person in the population. So here, ladies and gentlemen, we'll say item. That's, that's this child that's in this child population. This is a population of children. And we'll ask that state chart. So this will be infection state chart. Oop, it's giving me this autocomplete bug for which any logic is known. So we can just go look at it. It's called infection state chart. Okay, um, so here we'll go to the child population and we'll do item dot infection state chart dot is state active and we give it the name of the state, okay? The slightly confusing thing is you have to say the name of the, of the agent class dot and then the name of the state, okay? That will be the criteria this name of this, cla this class is child and the name of the state is infective hence we um, hence we refer to it in that in that sort of way so we're saying here uh, in the statistics okay count for me the number of children the number of people in this population number of child children in this population for whom their infection state chart claims that this certain state is active the infection state for them and that will count up the number of children that, that are infected. Does that make sense? Okay, so each child has a state chart and we ask the state chart, is this certain state active, giving the name of the state we're addressed in, person.infected, okay? Um, so I will, I will make this a full, full screen thing so you can see that, okay? So item, why item? Because that's the name of the of the child in this case. It, it, it runs, it counts up this for each person in the population it's running this. Each person in turn using, for each person in turn using the name item to refer to them and it's asking that person, hey, it's asking the infection state chart of that person, is this certain state active? Then it's going on to the next person calling that one item and asking the same thing and the next one item. So it's kind of looping over this, okay? And in fact, if we want to see the wraps come off, those from computer science background and can see this, we can actually do control J and we can actually go see the code for this. And you see there's a loop over each child in the population where it determines whether or not this condition is true. And if so, it increments this count. Okay? So, so uh, I'm sorry, from the code? Yeah, yeah, you, you, you can never get around the code and see a lot, but we...